Hi, hi, children. This is your Nirmala, ma'am. And this part we are going to discuss about the refraction. So already in part one, I have done in a one short video, light and reflection. So this is refraction video. Uh, okay. Let we move on to the concept. So in that last video, we have discussed about the reflection. So you have understood, I think. So refraction means, see, if a light is incident on a surface, so clearly we can see the reflection and also refraction also is exist. So only the part of reflection we have discussed in last video. So now look at here, a light is incident to this medium. So this is a glass slab or water, any surface. So any medium. So on that medium, the surface, the surface on that medium, the, this light is incident here. So what happened here? It passes through this medium. So it passes through the medium means it won't passes as a straight line. So straightly it's not passes. The speed of the light is decreases. What the speed of the light in the air or vacuum, it reduces once it enters into the any medium because based on its density and its MH out. MH out time also again here some angle it makes and emerges. That means it slightly it bends and emerges. So this is the process once the light is incident to a, any medium. So it passes through the medium. It's not passes as a straight. If you see, it's not passes as like this straight. So some angle it makes here some angle it makes that means it bends and passes based on the density of that medium. So again emerging out again it makes an angle. Okay so here we are having a normal line. So incident angle and refraction angle. This is emergent emergent angle. So here again we are having this refraction. Okay. So this is the process. So refraction is happening. So you understood, I think. So okay, ma'am, what is the refractive index? So usually we are listening about the refractive index. So what is the refractive index means? Here just now we discussed about the light is incident to the any medium. So it makes an angle that means it bends and passes through that medium. So we discussed right. So here the different materials and different mediums is different angles it makes. So based on its density, understood? So all the, all the <coughs> mediums are not having the same density. So different densities it is having based on that it makes an angle, right? So this is called the refractive index of that material we are saying so refractive index we are denoting with this small n or mu so before of this refractive index we have to know about the refractive refraction of light so the loss of re refraction of right so what are the loss of refraction of light so two loss we are having as like re reflection so reflection also two loss we discussed in the part one here in refraction loss we are discussing the first one is as like same as the uh, reflection property that means the incident ray and refract uh, the incident ray refracted ray are normal to the in interference of the two transparent medium is lie on the same plane understood that is the first and second one is Nell's law. 
So sin i by sin r equals to constant. This constant we are taking as a refractive index that is mu r n we are denoting. So that is the refractive index. Okay, what is the formula of the refractive index from one medium to another medium it passes. This is medium one we are taking and this one we are taking medium two. So what are the what is the formula? For example, the refractive index of the medium from 2 with respect to the medium 1. 2 with respect to the medium 1 equals to the speed of the light in the first medium by speed of the light in the second medium. So, okay. For example, the refractive index of the medium 1 with respect to 2, then what is the formula means the speed of the light in the second medium by speed of the light in the first medium. Generally, most of the cases we are taking from the uh, air to the medium. So, add to the medium we are taking refractive index equals to C by V. So, you know the speed of the light. Speed of the light is what? 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. That is the C value. This is constant. Next, if you see in your textbook, the refractive index table, in that refractive index table, clearly they have given so material medium and their corresponding refractive index. So if you see air is the very less refractive index that is 1.003 it is near to the 1 and diamond is having a refractive index is more that is 2.42. Okay, so if you compare to the water, kerosene, uh, wa water, usually water we are using 1.31 and glass slab also we are using frequently. So if you see the glass slab, it is a 1.52 glass slab. So don't worry about these refractive index values to uh, children. So you, if that, if they are given in the problematic, definitely they will mention in the bracket the refractive index of that material. Okay, or else they will give in the problematic only the refractive index of the given material or medium. So don't worry about it. But if you comparison of they are like this in MCQs, for example, they have asked. So air is the less refractive index. Understood though. So the speed of the light is more. So why this concept clearly I'm telling about means they will ask the refractive index they will give. So in which medium the light is very speed and the light is very uh, slowly uh, passing like the uh, such type of questions arises means you have to based on the refractive index you have to write it. So less refractive index medium the light passes very fastly the speed of the light is more in a less refractive index material fine next ref uh, refraction by a spherical lenses So refraction by a spherical lenses, if you see here also we are having two types of lenses. So one is convex lens, another one is concave lens. So don't confuse there we have discussed about the mirror. Now we are going to discuss about the lenses. So lenses is forming with the two spherical mirrors. So if you take this is one spherical mirror. So the, Okay, so another one I am going to take join with this. So it forms a lens. This is convex lens. So concave lens. This is concave lens. So here we are having two centers and two focal lens. So for this one left side if you see the left side curve uh, left side curve it is having a one center of curvature and focal point so one more if you are joining with this right so this curve is having this sign center of curvature so this lens center is called optical center and same as like as the concave lens the center of that lens is called the optical center okay
uh, now look at here children so lenses i have written here so this is con concave lens this is convex lens if you look at this case one i have written so here middle of the line passing through the optical center is called the principal axis as same as similar to the mirror so there in the mirror the line passes through the center and a pole pole of a mirror is called principal axis here the line passes through the optical center is called the principal axis so on this principal axis left side we are having one center of curvature and right side we are having another center of curvature and focal lens so for our difference purpose f1 2f1 2f1 means center of curvature here 2f2 is center of curvature and this f2 focal lens so here a light ray is incident to the convex lens parallelly to the principal axis and it refracted see it passes through the this lens so it's refracted and it this refraction is passes through the focal lens the focus point passes through the focus point okay next if you observe in the concave lens so same the light ray we are taking parallel to the principal axis and it's a incident to the, this lens and refraction this refraction is away to the center of curvature here away so now which lens is convergent and which lens is divergent you tell already clearly i have explained to you in the part one if you are no one uh, nobody is not uh, watch that part one please watch that part one that means listen that part one uh, video then if you listen this part two video it's easy for you okay so here um, based on this one we can say this convex lens is a convergent because the refraction that refraction ray is passes towards the center so this is convergent this is divergent it is away from the center so clear right so lenses convex lens is convergent concave lens is divergent next come to the second case if the ray is passes through the optical center it it never bends so it passes straightly look at here there is no any bending of this ray it passes straightly right so only uh, the ray passes through the optical center of a lens it's never bends okay it passes as a straight line either in convex concave lens or convex lens this is the second case you can observe in the case one it is a parallel and also it is incident to the lens it's bends some angle it's make but passing through the optical center there is no angle making it passes through a straight line next case 3 if you look at this case 3 the uh, <clears throat> the light ray incident to the uh, here incident to the lens but it passes through the what the fo focus point the first focus point it passes through the incident uh, the incident ray and it touches the lens then it bends and refracted the refracted ray is how it is it is parallel to the principal axis and same similar in the concave lens the ray passes through the focus point and incident here the another side we can't see in this concave mirror concave lens okay so the refractive uh the refraction ray is how it is parallel to the principal axis totally these are the three cases we are having in the lens okay fine ma'am now as like mirror the lens also having image formation yes so in the lens also we are having image formation so if you see concave lens we are having totally six cases so first case i have drawn here you can look at so here in concave lens the light is incident to the concave lens then the refraction is meet at a one point on the other side so here the object is keeping at infinity 
So what is the position of the object? In the first case, it is keeping at an infinity. So the light rays incident to the lens and refractions, all the refraction rays are meet at a one point focus point. So the image is forming at the focus point F2. How it is that image means highly diminished and point size, it is real and inverted. So here it is a, a, as similar to the concave mirror. Their concave mirror, we discussed six cases. In the lenses, convex lens, we have discussed the six cases. Understood? Next, case two. In the case two, the object position is beyond the center. So, where the image is forming here means between F2 and 2F2. This F2, 2F2 is there, right? In between the image is forming, this image also real and inverted. Understood? Next case 3, we are going to keep that object on the center. So one side on the center, the object is uh, keeping on the center on the one side, the image is formed on the another side center. So another side, we are having a center, right? 2F2, there the image is formed, that is real and inverted and also the size of the object is how much, same the size of the image. So only this case, okay, only this case, you can see the size of the object is equals to the size of the image and also the object is if you are keeping on the center, the image also formed at the center, okay. Next. <coughs> Next, if you see the fourth case, if you see the fourth case, so what is the fourth case mean? So we are keeping between F2, F2 and F1 object where the image is forming, the image is forming on the neck, uh, the other side of the beyond the center. So here the image is enlarged compared to the object. Object is as for, for example, object size is 3, image size we can expect 5, more than 3. Understood? This is n large. Okay. So, now, next case, we will see the fifth Yes, four cases is over, right? The fifth case where we want to keep that object now on the focus point, on the focus point. So 2F1, F1. So now the object is keeping on this focus point. Same. So the object is keeping on the focus point. Image is where it is forming. Image is forming at infinity. Image is forming where? At infinity. And it is an n large. How it is? It is an n large. Here F2, 2F2. This is optical center. Okay, this is the case 4. Next, sorry, case 5. Case 4 is over. Case 5. Next, case 6. So, case 6, if you look at, now, so only one case is rest of. What is that mean? The object is keeping in between. Focus point, focus point and optical center. So F1, 2 F1, optical center, F2, 2 F2. So if we keep here, so where it is 
the image is forming means the same side the image is forming so if you look at all the cases the image is formed on the other side only this case the image is forming the same side okay only the this this case and also it is not real and inverted it is a virtual and erect in this case okay so these are the six cases we are having totally so in this six cases five cases the image nature is real and inverted and also it forms on the other side and only one case the image is virtual and erect and it formed on the same side of the object next concave lens if you look at the concave lens we are having two cases so one case is the object is placing at infinity so if the object is placed at infinity the image is forming at focus point the same side same side here understood so that is virtual and erect how it is it is virtual and erect same before in con cave mirror we have seen this now we are observing now here in concave lens their convex mirror you observed convex mirror here concave lens so object is placing at infinity now here image is forms how it is virtual and highly diminished point size next case now the object is placed between infinity and optical center so optical center and between infinity we are keeping this object okay fine so where the image is forming where the image is forming if you look at the image is forming between focus point and optical center here focus point here the image is forming how it is the image if you see that is diminished virtual and erect understood so this is the second case of the concave lens concave lens only we are having two cases and convex lens we are having totally six cases next in lens also we are having sign convention so lens formula if you look at the lens formula i didn't tell in a part a the mirror formula now i'll write it here lens formula if you see 1 by f equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u mirror formula 1 by f equals to 1 by v plus 1 by u don't confuse any one formula we call it the another formula plus next magnification if you see m equals to h i by h o height of the image by height of the object if you look at here same formula m equals to h i by h that means height of the object image by height of the object here minus v by u sorry plus v by u if you see mirror formula minus v by u understood so these don't confuse and any one you learn the another one you can write it okay next same as like how the mirror i explained you same here lens is we are treated as a y axis and principal axis is an x axis and 
the optical center you treat this lens completely you treat as a y axis okay now the right side is positive and left side is negative always the object we will keep it on the negative side only okay 99% so object distance from object to optical center u and image is forming for the convex lens five cases is the other side so image distance you will get it positive only one case the focus and optical center between keeping on the same side it will the image form so that case the v is negative understood and one more thing focus point focus point is here so convex lens focus point is positive focal length is what positive focus point is where it is on the the positive side focus point here that means the refraction lines are meets at a one point on the principal axis that is lies on the right side right side of the lens okay then focal length is positive if you come to the concave lens the focus point is placing on the left side right side also is their focus point but where all the refraction line uh, refraction rays are meeting at the left side so here the focal length is negative in concave lens mirror also negative lens also negative focal length in convex lens or concave mirror focal length is positive next come to the topic power of lens so if you look at power of lens is very important for us if you uh, see your eyes some people are having a defects of the eyes they are wearing a lenses so based on this power of lenses the power of lenses power of lens formula p equals to 1 by f f is a focal length p is a power so this is the formula f we are taking as a units is meters and p is a diopter next if the power power of the lens is positive you got it the answer of the power is positive then what type of lens they are using means convex lens and power is negative value then their lens is concave lens so now the first chapter theory we are completed children now i am moving to the uh, next chapter human eyes and colorful world so if you see the human eye here in the physics the human eye we are treated as a as a one lens okay biology in different way you are going to study in the physics we are treating that eye is completely as a lens lens of the system here the human eye is like a camera we are taking so once the light is incident to the light light is incident to eye so what are the what is the happening how the reflection is happening how the refraction and uh image is where the image is forming which is the screen is in a, in our eye so each and everything now we are going to discuss it so listen now human eye so human eye is what camera and we are treating it is as a lens system so in this lens system uh, the first part is what cornea so which is the where is the light is enters light is enters through the cornea light is enters through the cornea and what is happening of their retina uh, what is happening of the next process we are having an eyeball so the eyeball is what shape it is spherical in shape based on eyeball also the defect we are saying so normal eye the eyeball is spherical shape so what is the di diameter of that what is diameter 
diameter of the 2.3 centimeter diameter of that uh, spherical shape eyeball <coughs> the, the, uh, we are discussing about the normal eye fine so definitely here the crystalline lenses uh, in the cornea what we are having means the crystalline lenses we are having so inside we are having iris people next to crystalline lenses so what are their functioning in this lens system so what are their functioning in this lens system if you see the crystalline lenses adjusting the focal length so what is the function of the crystalline lens adjusting the focal length Next, what is the function of the iris? That iris is or the iris what it will do it? It controls the size of the people. So iris function is what? It controls the size of the people. What is the function of people? regulates regulates and controls the amount of light look at here each and every part is functioning in your in our eye okay so here through the cornea the light is enters into in our eye and here eyeball is there how the eyeball is spherical shape the diameter is 2.3 centimeter and we are having an iris and people iris is controls the size of the people and people is regulates and controls the amount of light and okay then it passes and where the image is forming the image is forming on the retina retina function is what it is a behave as like a screen so uh, on the screen what is forming inverted real image how it is forming real and inverted image and this is this image is the nose is the optical nose taking to the brain okay as an electrical signals waves what is happening these signals are the optical nerves taking into the brain and brain is identifying which is, what I, what is that object so this much of process is happening behind so what we are looking an object so once that is enters into the cornea and through the cornea iris is there so cornea and if you see pupil and iris crystal lenses the middle of we are having some aqueous humor okay aqueous humor we are having and also for retina and um, uh, retina and ciliary muscles if you see the middle of we are having vitreous humor so these also many times in mcqs they have asked so here which one is behaving as a screen retina is behaving as a screen and which one is controls our uh, amount of light regulates people and irish work is what here to control the size of the people okay. and crystalline lens work is what adjusting the focal length next power of accommodation so in the what is the accommodation accommodation means just now we discussed right so adjusting the focal length focal length adjusting only we can look at it's a n large or small and clearly we can uh, clearly we can look at that object okay so that is the 
focal length adjustment so the ability of adjusting the focal length of the eye lens is called the accommodation that ability that ability is there right for that eye to adjusting that focal length that is called the accommodation so in the minimum distance of the eye we can observe is 25 cm below the 25 cm it's it's like a blur it's not a clear uh, vision of that so at least the object should be distance to our eye is 25 cm then it's a clear vision next at far is infinity so this is the normal eye uh, the object clearly looking is between 25 centimeter and infinity. Next, cataract. What is the cataract? So, cataract, we can see this is this condition in the old age people. Old age people, crystalline lenses, how it is become means milky and cloudy. So, some people you can observe their eye is milky and cloudy. Such people are having a condition is cat, uh, cataract one with the surgery we can uh, uh, it, it is a possible to restore vision through a cataract surgery and uh, sometimes partially or complete loss of vision also these people are having thank you children and in the next part, I will do it, defects of vision and their correction and refraction through the prism and electricity. Thank you. Bye-bye.